Well, artificial intelligence is already pro proving to be quite the game changer in hospitals and medical facilities around the world. We've talked about how AI is being used for everything from brain surgery to mind reading and the potential of revolutionizing cancer detection. Now, tonight we're going to talk about colonoscopies. It turns out AI is helping doctors prevent future colorectal uh, cancer diagnoses. And we're going to show you how it works. Just a warning, a colonoscopy is an invasive procedure procedure. So here it is. On the left, a doctor is scanning the area with their naked eye. On the right, the same scan is happening, but using AI assistance. See that little green bo box that keeps popping up? That's the AI showing the doctor an area of concern, and it allows them to take a closer look. Now, a recent study pre predicts that AI-assisted scans like this could reduce future cancer diagnoses by up to 39%. Let's bring in NBC medical fellow, Dr. Akshay Sayal. Uh, Dr. Sayal, how is AI able to detect those spots so fast and in, in real time? Hey, Gadi, yeah, this is this is really cool. I mean, so what we're talking about is using deep learning that these machines have been fed over and over colonoscopies and pictures of what a healthy colon should look like and pictures of what a healthy colon doesn't look like. And through deep learning, it's been able to actually detect this better than the human eye by about 13 percent, which Northwestern, who led the study, is estimating this could reduce future cancer diagnosis by up to 39 percent. But why is this a big deal? You know, up to 25 percent of polyps in the in the colon when you get a colonoscopy uh, colonoscopy can be missed. And if you miss those polyps, people can still get colon cancer, even though they've had those colonoscopies we always talk about. And so, you know, in talking to the doctors who led this study, what they're telling me is that it's really comforting for the doctors to have that AI by the side, looking over their shoulder, almost like a little mentor or supervisor to make sure that they're getting all the areas of concern in a, in a patient, Gadi. <laughs> comforting for the doctors, uh, I think comforting for the patients, too. I mean, I imagine, like, if you're a patient, you're like, no, no, I want a doctor and I want AI. I want everybody to check as much as humanly possible. Um, I know this is going to be a, a huge deal because according to the World Health Organization, uh, this type of cancer makes up like 9% of global cancer deaths. Is this technology widespread enough to make a, a pretty big difference soon? Like, when I go to the doctor, can I ask for this? That's that's the excellent question. And this is the first time in a long time that we've talked where I can say this is available today. Uh, Gotti, this device is FDA approved. Northwestern, who led the study because of the results of their study, are making this the standard of care, meaning everybody June 1st, starting June 1st, who wants to get a colonoscopy can actually ask for an AI assisted colonoscopy. And it's not just Northwestern. Facilities all across the country are starting to realize there's some real potential here for reducing colon cancer diagnoses. So absolutely, if you are out there, look, someone who, who needs to get a colonoscopy, do ask if, if an AI-assisted one is an option. Uh, Dr. Akshay, but wait, there's more moment. We are here for that. Um, all right, final question. When should people start getting regular colonoscopies? Like, I'm about 40 now. What are the symptoms to, to, to look out for, and how regularly should you be getting checked out? Yeah, you're getting there, Gotti. So it's it's about age 45 when, when most people should start to get colonoscopies. Now, it's going to vary depending on your personal and family medical history. I'm at about age 45. And just to review the symptoms here, you know, we, we want to look for changes in your poop patterns. As, as gross as that sounds, are you pooping? Are you having a lot of diarrhea out of nowhere? Are you having, maybe you're not going, maybe, you're, maybe your poop is just really, really thin, or maybe you're even feeling tired and your poop is normal. There's really a wide variety of symptoms, which is why we encourage this regular screening starting at the age of 45 for most people. <laughs> Dr. Akshay Sayal, thanks so much, brother. Yeah. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.